Hi again and welcome back. This is Chris. Thanks for joining me for another KW Command Tip. In this video, I am going to show you how to access your settings, update your settings in your profile, and connect your various accounts to your KW Command dashboard. The first thing we need to do here to get started is log in if my Google Chrome will open. There we go. And head on over to console.command.kw.com. You're going to log in using your kw.com password and username, or username and password, whichever. And then we're going to head on over here to the right side where your name is. Click on the triangle. And you will see profile, settings, and log out. So click on profile and this will take you to what is your profile that other people can see. This is similar to what you'll see for other people. Lots of things you can do here. You can change the banner photo, change your profile photo, update your profile. Your profile will show everyone things like this, your service areas, your social media, your contact information. So if we click on edit profile, you can edit all of your contact information, your service areas, put in a bio, which I haven't done, put in all of your social media, opt in or out of this referral network. I would suggest opting in and you can show on your profile page, however, however many closed units or sold listings or any of those things, any of these statistics that you want to show, I would put at least closed units and listings sold. Uh, and maybe buy sales also, but at least these two. Um, time with KW if you've been with KW for a while. I am not an active selling agent, so I haven't clicked on any of those because I don't really need my profile to say zero, um, but I did put on there time with KW. So you're going to save changes once you've got all of that updated. Now over on settings, and you can update this on your own and then just send me questions if you have any questions about any of it. So over then on settings, the second thing I want to show you to this in this video is um, connecting your applications or your accounts with your KW command um, dashboard. And these are things like your calendar, your eEdge, Gmail, um, Facebook, MailChimp. Everyone should go ahead and, and get a free MailChimp account. With a free account, you get uh, 2,000 subscribers or 2,000 people in your database on MailChimp and 12,000 emails um, every month, I believe. But it looks like from what I've seen that you're going to need a MailChimp account in order to do email campaigns from KW Command. So go ahead and get that. I just signed up for mine today and, and um, activated it a few minutes ago. So I'm going to connect that one and it will give you an opportunity to see how easy this whole connection process is. And hopefully it works for me. It should. There we go. Everything's connected. Now you'll see it pulled MailChimp up here to my connected apps. It was down here, but it's pulled it up here now. So these are all of my connected apps. And that's about it. Go ahead and update your profile, everyone. Um, put in your photographs, put in your banner photo if you want a new one, connect all of your apps, and I will be back with another video showing you some more of the setup and some more of the things that you can do with KW Command. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time and for watching, and I will see you next time.